Dolphins fans, welcome in to Dolphins Today. I am Will Scott. On today's show, we're talking about what the Dolphins need to do to beat the Buffalo Bills. It would be one of the biggest upsets in NFL playoff history. I have an eight-step plan. All the things need to happen for the Dolphins to win this game. Number one is empty the playbook. Get creative on offense. Here's how you can do that. Some trick plays. little flea flicker action. Tyreek in the Wildcat. I want to see Cheetah in the Wildcat a couple times. And then for Skylar Thompson to turn into the player that he was at Kansas State, Tim Tebow-esque, I mean, just get crazy on offense. Empty the playbook. Do whatever it takes. The full Buffalo. Trick plays. Maybe some fake punts as well. Get creative on offense. Mike McDaniel, you're known as being this offensive wizard. I want to see it on display on Sunday in Orchard Park, New York. Go down, be the coach. How can the Dolphins offense get creative against the Bills in this football game? Go down, let me know. How can they get creative against Buffalo? My big thing is Tyreek in the Wildcat. I'd love to see it. Uh, number two, Skylar Thompson's got a ball out. He's got to play the game of his life for the Dolphins to win this game. And I understand he's had some up and downs, ups and downs in the regular season. But let's go back to what he did in the preseason. He was the Highest rated quarterback in the preseason, not just rookie quarterback, any quarterback led all preseason QBs in QBR, passing touchdowns and passing yards, 450 passing yards, five touchdowns, no picks. This guy was unbelievable in the preseason. Taking a look at what he did at Kansas State. Early in his career at Kansas State, he was a mobile quarterback, 16 rushing touchdowns in his first two years. Then he had some injury issues. Just two rushing touchdowns, just 42 rushing yards in his last two seasons at Kansas State. But if they can let him just do his thing, if they unleash him, then I think the Dolphins have a chance in this football game. Unleash Skylar Thompson, let him ball out. How can Skylar Thompson find success, though? By finding number 10 and number 17, getting the ball to Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell, two of the top receivers in football. And Skyler last week was talking about how fortunate he is to play an offense that has two of the best receivers in the game. Tyreek, over 1,700 receiving yards, second in the NFL, over 100 yards per game. Jalen Waddle, though, more yards after the catch, 15 touchdowns combined between the two of them. Get those two guys the ball, and you might, you keyword, might have a chance to win this football game. And I actually do believe that the Bills might underestimate Miami coming in. I understand that this is a well-coached football team. Sean McDermott is a phenomenal coach. A lot of talented coaches on that staff. But the Bills are coming in as 14-point favorites. They know they're facing a third-string rookie seventh-round pick quarterback. They know the Dolphins' offensive line is depleted. They know the Dolphins' defense is struggle on the road. They might underestimate Miami in this football game, and they might Fall behind early, get a little bit surprised, catch them off guard by coming and playing your A game, Miami, because they're going to underestimate you. The whole NFL world does not believe in you, so go out and get the job done. Guys, the Dolphins are in the playoffs, first time in six years, so go and pick up a playoff shirt. we got to celebrate this occasion, chatsports.com slash Dolphins playoffs. That link in the comments and description, pretty sweet shirt, i got to say. Go and pick it up. Again, that link in the comments and the description of today's video. Number five here on my eight-step plan. Make a statement early. You cannot fall behind. I'm telling you, punch the Bills in the mouth. Go down the opening drive and score. Win the coin toss. Take the ball. Go down and score. Force an early turnover. Make a play in this football game early. Catch them by surprise. You got to make a statement early in this football game if you want a chance to win. But if the Dolphins can start fast in this football game, they're going to have me believing, they're going to have you believing, and Buffalo fans are going to be gripping. What's your confidence level in the Dolphins in this football game? Scale it 1 to 10 down in the comments section. What is your confidence level in Miami? Go down and let me know. I think it's going to come down to the defense. Uh, in order for the defense, in order for the Dolphins to win this game, the defense has to play better than they've played all year. And the defense has been a massive disappointment this year. Bottom half in pretty much every single category except rushing defense. Rushing defense has been 
the one good thing for Josh Boyer and company this year. But they're 24th in scoring, 18 yards per game, 27th in passing, 24th in third down defense, third and Boyer. You know what I say every show. And then, more importantly, coming into this game at least, their road defense last in the league at 31 points per game. So the defense has got to step up, make some plays, and win the turnover battle. You are going to lose this game. It might not even be close if you do not win the turnover battle. You got to take care of the football and offense. Jeff Wilson, Raheem Mostert, they've had some fumbling issues a little bit this year. Take care of the football. Skylar Thompson, I know that he didn't put up huge numbers last week. But you know what? He also did not make a mistake. Skylar Thompson needs to play clean football, find the playmakers, and then the Dolphins defense needs to step up, like I said, force some turnovers. Josh Allen, he's thrown a lot of picks this year. Force some turnovers. Maybe have a fumble or two. Win the turnover battle if you want to have a chance to win this game. And this kind of goes with that. Uh, but if Josh Allen is Josh Allen, I don't think you're going to win this football game. But Josh Allen's not perfect. Every quarterback struggles, even the best ones in the league. Uh, Josh Allen needs to struggle in this football game for the Dolphins to win. You have got to slow this guy down. You have not done that in your first two meetings. 67 of 103 completions attempts. 704 yards. Six touchdowns. No interceptions this year for Josh Allen. He has been a menace. Not just this year, you have not been able to slow this guy down. Is Pretty much his entire career, the Dolphins have got to slow Josh Allen down. Not contain him, but stop him on Sunday if the Dolphins want to win this game. Let's revisit my eight-step plan here. Number one, empty the playbook. Get creative on offense. Tyreek and the Wildcats. And Skylar Thompson QB runs. Do everything you can to catch the Bills off guard. And then Skylar Thompson, a rookie seventh-round pick out of Kansas State, who I gave an F grade to when they drafted him. He needs to use that as motivation. He needs to use all these people. They're saying, oh, Skylar Thompson is by far the worst playoff quarterback. The Dolphins are playing Skylar Thompson. The Dolphins have no chance. Listen to that, Sky. Listen to it. And go out there and prove all those people wrong. Go and prove them wrong. Ball out. Play the game of your life. And then maybe the Dolphins have a chance. Number three. Skyler needs to find Waddle and Tyreek. If he gets the ball into the Cheetah's hands, if he gets the ball into the Penguins' hands, then you have a chance. Number four, and I do believe this can happen, the Bills are going to underestimate the Dolphins in this game. They're going to say, oh, the Dolphins don't have Tua, they don't have all these guys. They're going to underestimate Miami. Number five, make a statement early. Punch the Bills in the mouth. Go and score in the opening drive. Do something early. Number six, the defense stepping up. they got to play better than they've played all year. Number seven, win the turnover battle. Number eight, Josh Allen struggles. Go down, predict the score of Bills and Dolphins down in the comments section. Go down, let me know. I don't know if the Dolphins are going to win. However, I do believe it's going to be a lot more competitive than people think. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to have a watch party for that game on Sunday going live 45 minutes before kick. Go down and subscribe to the channel.